So hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, then welcome. I would like to introduce myself. I am Stephanie. I do all things beautiful. I do makeup, hair, nails, get ready with me, get unready with me, vlogs, anything to do with cosmetics. And if you would like more of that content, just go make sure to go hit that subscribe button. I do upload three brand new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And with no further ado, let's get right into the Sephora haul that I am super excited for. Okay, you guys, I do have on a shirt. It's just the sleeves keep... So, just want to go ahead and put that out there. But the number one thing I was m most excited for in this haul was this Glow Recipe glow up it's like a little three-piece kit I'm sorry about the ring lights right there I'm trying to show I did take the stuff out but it does come in super cute packaging and on the back right here it just says what all the stuff is which I'm going to obviously show you the first thing is this glow recipe watermelon it says PHA plus BHA pore tightening toner looks just like that it does come with a little screw off cap and then does have a little dispenser this smells like watermelon but also smells like I don't know how to put my finger on it but like this says that a gentle alcohol free pore refining treatment formula with watermelon PHA natural BHAs hyaluronic acid and citrus water that's what it is it smells like citrus I knew it smelled like something and it does say that it has um, citrus and watermelon scent just for that cacti water or cactus water but I do find it interesting and am super excited to use this and this is a little thicker than most of my other toner. Next in that kit I did get a Glow Recipe Watermelon Pink Juice Moisturizer. I am not new to this. This is not new to me. I have bought this before and I do use this all the time. I know that I absolutely do love this. It does come with a cute little pink pump. Um, this is a thicker gel moisturizer um, and I find that under makeup it's really nice. And it does leave the skin a little tacky, so it really grips the foundation, but I do like this. And this smells different than this guy here. Like this said, it does have citrus in it. This does not. This is just smells like straight up watermelons. Also in that kit, you guys, I got a Glow Recipe Watermelon Nice and Made Dew Drops. Do not judge me if I didn't say that right, but it, this bottle is super cute. It's little. It also does come with a pump. I wasn't sure what this was or even how to use it, but it does say that it is a lightweight, versatile skincare highlighter that creates an instant ultra-reflective complexion under makeup or over. I'm not sure if I would be putting this over my makeup, but I will try this underneath just where I would normally highlight the high points of my face. So I am super excited to try this. And I did squirt this out, and it is just a almost, it's like a clear pink, consistency and it is also thicker and when I did this earlier when it dried down it felt tacky so and it smells just like this guy here the watermelon juice so I am super excited to try this guy I think that the glow recipe packaging is super cute you guys okay the next thing I did get from glow recipe is this avocado recovery serum it looks like this it has a little avocado on it it is super cute packaging I am a sucker for packaging on the inside it did come with a little ring thing that went around here but look at that you guys it is so cute it's got like little avocados everywhere also this is a one fluid ounce I think this retails for like $42 if I'm not mistaken this guy here was $50 um, I think it was like 49 and with the tax it was over $50 this one here is also super cute packaging. It does come with a pump. This says that it reduces visible redness and supports a healthy looking moisture barrier with this ultra soothing serum. This comfortable milky formula harnesses and nourishes with avocado oil, butter, and a blend of five ceramides to improve the skin by supporting the moisture barrier and preventing water loss. It says combined with soothing rice milk, this serum hydrates and targets irritation, redness, and dehydration from skin soothing balance. So, I do suffer from hyperpigmentation, you guys, so I am super excited to try this. Like I said, it is a serum. It's kind of just like this guy here. It just pumps out like super light green and turns to clear when you rub it in. I have not used this yet, but I am excited to. I really want to see if this reduces my hyperpigmentation because I am always suffering from that. 
So moving on you guys, I did repurchase, this is a repurchase for me, this is the Parlor Choice Super Booster Vitamin C, I go through these, they only last for about 3 months, but it does come like this, a brand new fresh bottle, I use this morning and night, I find that for me it is the, my favorite, it just looks like that, it comes with a little dropper, it feels nice on the skin. I will use this under my makeup you guys and then put all my skincare products on top and I will also use this at night and then also put all my night um, routine skincare products on top. I absolutely love this. I have found that it has gotten rid of some of my acne scarring and just made my skin overall look better and the texture wise too so I absolutely love this guy and this is... I think this does retail for $49. I also purchased a Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. This one is in Sweet Candy. I do like the original, but I found that I do like this one a little better just because of the scent of it. It comes with a little top that you just have to take off. And as you can see, it is fresh and brand new. And I am so ready to use this. This honestly smells like pink jelly beans. I love this. And I am glad that I purchased this. So moving on to some SOL. This is another repurchase. I was super excited to see that they still had this on the website because I did purchase this one time before and used the whole thing up in no time. This is a little kit. I think it retails for $30 if I'm not mistaken. Um, it just comes with a little zipper bag which is super cute. And in here you get a shower gel cream, which is little, and I do use this. I use the other one up so fast, but this smells so amazing. You can even smell it through the closed top right here. Also, you, you get a Brazilian Crush body spray. It just looks like this. And I don't want to touch this. It did leak out a little bit, which I'm a little bit bummed about. So I need to go wipe that off, but as you can see... It leaked out pretty good and it's in the bottom of this bag right here which sucks gosh but we're going to keep it moving on and you do get a little bum bum cream also comes with a little top that you just take off and there is the product oh my gosh this smells so amazing and I know last time I used this up in less than a month it is little so just for that reason there, I did use my brain this time and bought a big one. So I'm not going to be running out. I absolutely really do love this cream and it just smells so amazing. It's just like the little one, it just comes with a top here because I will be using this after I use up the little one. But I do not just use this on my bum bum, I use this everywhere. I use this on my elbows, my knees, my feet, my shoulders, my bum bum, everywhere. I put This is a whole body lotion and when I am done using this, I promise you, you smell like a snack. This is so good you guys. So moving on to some cosmetic products that I purchased. I did purchase a Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Setting Spray. I also did get one off Nordstrom and I gave it to my sister. So I just repurchased this because on Nordstrom now all they have is the little mini size. And with the little mini size you guys, it's a lot better just to get the big one because you get a lot more product for the money that you pay for it. But I do like this spray. This is a brand new bottle. I haven't even used it yet. I think this retails for $35 if I'm not mistaken. And it was the same on Nordstrom and I would have just got it back off there because actually their shipping at Nordstrom is a little faster than Sephora. But like I said, all they had was a mini and I didn't want that. And keeping with the Charlotte Tilbury theme, I did repurchase the Airbrush Flawless Finish Setting Powder. Looks just like that. It is a pressed powder. Um, I do. I have used this plenty of times before. But I needed a brand new one, you guys. Super fresh. Yay. I love this powder. It's absolutely beautiful under your eyes. It's absolutely beautiful all over your face. It's absolutely beautiful just to set your whole entire face with. I love a lot of powders. Um, I am obsessed with the Patrick Star setting powder. But I still do find myself repurchasing this just because it is just that good. And I think this retails for like $45. I also did purchase this Tarte Park Ave Princess. Yes, I had this before. And I do have a two-year-old son and he did get it. And I found that he took this off my vanity and was literally digging his little car inside of it. I did try to salvage the other one. But when I put it back together, it was like pieced everywhere. It was broken up. It was a mess. 
and I honestly was worried about the bacteria that might be in there just from his car that he takes everywhere with it that we go so I did just repurchase another one just because I would like to have one that is a whole and not in pieces just for that reason I did repurchase another one and this smells like coconuts and I love using this it is fantastic it does give you that look like you have been laying on the beach and gives that color back to your face and absolutely love this for a high-end bronzer almost done you guys just a few more things I also did purchase this 5-in-1 eye cream from first aid beauty just looks like this it is 14.8 milliliters um, I think this was like $28 if I'm not mistaken but when you screw it off, it does come with a little squeeze tube, which I do appreciate. It says that you can use this morning and night, so I'm excited to see if this works well under my concealer and cosmetics and makeup products. Super excited to see if this is good under makeup. I'm always looking for a good eye cream that sits well under makeup, so hopefully this will be that. So moving on, you guys, I did also purchase this first aid beauty it says ultra repair hydrating serum it says replenishes soothes and softens it says safe for sensitive skin this also does have the collotted oatmeal don't criticize me or judge me if i don't say these ingredients right but i know that that oatmeal is good for redness so that's why i purchased this this was 42 dollars it does come in cute little packaging just like this does have a pump which I do appreciate and also just says that you can use this daily in the a.m. and also at p.m. this says just to use one pump to a clean dry face and wait till it is fully absorbed before applying any moisturizer but I do have the collagen first aid beauty in the little jar that I purchased last time I didn't put it in this video because I didn't get it in this haul but I am going to use this and then put that on top and then we'll see about this redness I am really honestly trying to get rid of okay two more things you guys and they are foundations I did purchase this skin feels good from Lancome it looks just like this I did use this today this is what I have on this is also in the color peach I think this is the lightest shade and as you can see it's a pretty good match it might be a half a shade too dark but looks pretty nice on the skin from what I can tell I did use a sample of this before um, the color was a little too dark but it does come with a pump as you can see right there I think they're trying to phase this out because it was hard for me to find a full range of colors and even like on Nordstrom.com or even on Lancome they don't have the full range so even at my local mall she said that they weren't getting any more of these so i'm not sure if they're getting rid of these or what's going on but i did pick this up and i do think that it looks beautiful on the skin you guys and last but not least she purchased this all hours foundation from ysl in the shade b10 porcelain i'm not sure if you are going to be able to see that but that is what the packaging looks like it is just gold with the ysl logo right there i have used this foundation before in a different shade i do like it this is expensive i think it was 52 or 55 dollars but that is what it looks like and you do not get a full one fluid ounce you get 0.84 but with the other one that i used i found that i didn't need too much to get pretty full coverage so maybe that's why they don't give you a full ounce it is a good foundation it does also come with a pump which i always appreciate so i don't want to hear about any high-end products especially foundations that don't have pumps that is just a pet peeve of mine i hate it but i am glad this one does have a pump this foundation just says it is 24 hour wear i do not wear my foundations for 24 hours so i will never know if that is true or not it says that the formula is it says it's transfer free with no compromise on comfort it says it's no need to touch up throughout the day you can go through a non-stop activity it is full coverage a rich level of fine pigments create a flawless and even coverage without a mask effect it says matte shine control throughout the day this is a oil free formula which keeps complexion shine free and reduces the look of pores so anything that reduces the look of pores and holds my oils at bay i am all for it like i said i did have this in a different shade i didn't use it as much just because when you have a complexion product that honestly doesn't match you even though it looked nice on my skin i just didn't want to reach for it because it looked 
funny that I would have a different color even if I brought it down my neck you could still see so I am glad I got this in my right shade so that is it you guys I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you enjoyed my little Sephora haul and all the stuff that I got I am super excited to try out all of this stuff and let you guys know what I think about it in later videos and as always thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video bye bye